Hi guys, so this week um, I want to talk about and uh, study and practice the leg motion. The leg motion, in my opinion, is um, a very important thing. Not everybody, and um, actually I think most of the people don't work on, on the leg motion as, uh, as they work on all the other kind of motions that they do. Uh, especially on ankle motions, we may sometimes we focus more on uh, the the techniques itself itself and not uh, on what actually starts uh, everything. Uh, in fact, in my opinion, the leg motion is the injection of everything we're gonna do. For example, um, when we have to play uh, thirty second notes pattern patterns on the on the drums, for example, for a breakdown. Sometimes I see drummers struggling with that part, with the beginning, where they kind of start that way and then they get rolling and uh, they start um, being able to play what they want. But um, what it, how it should be is that we should be able to start straight away to play um, with no problems. And that's possible using the leg motion as a first stroke. In fact, the, if, we, if we use the weight of the leg, uh, that's actually what happens in the, in the leg motion, um, motion. It's using the leg to go against the force of the, of the spring. The spring is a, is a force that we have to deal with that wants to throw the beater back as um, the beater reaches um, the surface that we're playing on, in this case the pad. So uh, from there, dealing with this with small muscles like the articulation muscles of the of the ankle, it, it gets difficult. It, it it makes us lose control, and we either have to kind of do a pressing motion to beat that, or working on a release motion which is starting already in a stress position, in a contracted position uh, against the spring, putting the weight of our body in front and working on releasing the pedal instead of being relaxed, work with the leg motion and the weight of the leg against the spring and then take advantage of that, which is what I do. And this benefits me on being staying relaxed the whole time and not putting pressure on the knees, putting all the weight of my body uh, on, in, in, on the, in front, so on my legs, which damages your knees, uh, especially in the, in the swivel technique. Uh, and so for this, um, for this reason, I really think leg motion is very important and that's why I want to start from there and talk about this today. So um, we will structure our lessons starting from a body control which is uh, playing, uh, practicing without the pedal, practicing with uh, just working on our body. And then um, we will do other steps to get to the final result, uh, which is playing, of course, the pedal with the spring on. Um, basically, the leg motion uh, works exactly how the upstroke and downstroke for our hand works. So we raise our hand and uh, sorry, we raise our arm, leaving our hand relaxed. And we do the same thing with our leg. We raise our leg in this uh, position, and then we just let our arm go, and the same way we let our leg go. So what happens is that when we release the leg, when we let it fall, the noise that we hear, the sound that we hear, is a flam sound. It's not a, ta um, a flat sound. It's not a, a tap, but it's a flame. Because the toe uh, reaches the floor before the heel, because our ankle is completely relaxed. So, the, as uh, with the hand, where the fingers are um, in a lower position than the wrist, the same thing happens with our foot, where the toe the toes are lower in a lower position compared to the, the ankle. So it's exactly the same concept, the same mechanics that happens, just applied to the lower part of our body. Uh, and of course, this requires us to put all the weight of our body 
on the seat and not in front. If not, we're going to have our times doing this motion. But we're talking, going to talk about um, balance in another episode. I want to focus on the leg motion today. So the first exercise that we have to do is we have to raise our leg and make sure that as we raise the leg, our ankle is relaxed and we don't have tensions. We don't do anything like that. And we don't raise our toes or, or any, any kind of contraction or, or muscle or activation outside of this part of our leg, which of course is going to work because it's going to release, it's going to, sorry, it's going to raise um, the leg. So the same thing um, has to be done with the left foot, of course. And um, we can work on this for 60 seconds for each leg, leg. so 60 seconds uh, right leg, 60 seconds left leg. Um, making sure that all our muscles are relaxed while we do this. It's very important to stay concentrated and it's very important to repeat this exercise for at least the whole week, um, once per day. From the moment you understand what you have to do, that's just the beginning of your study uh, course. What happens when we study is we have to make this kind of feeling spontaneous and uh, natural every time we play so even when we don't think about it because now we're really focused on this part of our body so we can control it and we can let all the muscles relax while we do this but will this happen when we're gonna play and we're dealing with the clicks the life stage and uh, other situations we don't know we have to keep repeating this so that our brain uh, memorizes this thing and uh, this message that it sends and then from there um, it's going to be spontaneous, it's going to be natural so yes, if we repeat it then the, our brain will get used to this and will apply it every time he has to work in this way so this is the first thing that we have to do so working on our body educating our brain to have this kind of approach every time we work in this way. Then we will work on the pedal without the spring. Working without the spring it's uh, very important because it allows us to work very slowly and we don't have the, the pressure and the, the needs that the spring gives of reacting and controlling the reaction of the spring but it's just going to be dealing with the rebound that really depends on how powerful we hit the pad or the surface we're playing on. We have to think about different things in this uh, situation. We have to think of raising our leg without pressing down. If not, we already are going to have a problem and we, when we're going to put the spring we're going to have tensions already because we're working against the spring so we have to work on really raising our leg and then let it go keeping the same exact motion that we were doing before and then we have to work on not pressing the beater down but let it come back because all these motions are going to be in the pre in preparation of the final um, step which is working with the spring so once we, we, we do this, and we, this is going to be uh, done 60 seconds per leg, both uh, right and left, uh, again, so it's going to be another 2 minutes added. The final step will be to practice um, with the spring, and we'll have to do, and we'll have to deal with the spring. So as I was saying um, before, um, we will have to work with how the weight of our leg against the spring. We're going to do the same exact thing that we were doing without the spring, so raising our leg without pressing the beater down, and then we will release, um, we will let the leg fall, and then we will control the rebound, the comeback of the beater, just by relaxing the foot and leaving it laying on the board. In this case, this is one leg motion stroke. 
it's that uh, if you want to work on different techniques uh, and use the leg motion as an injection, this is what's going to happen. So this is why, in my opinion, the leg motion is very important. It's going to be the injection of all the motions that we're going to do and uh, in all the techniques and also, of course, will help us playing slowly and uh, without making any effort just by working against using the weight of the leg against the force of the spring. So this is the lesson of the week and um, try to work on the on, on these motions with this step uh, with these steps um, at least once a day and um, of course we're gonna go through all the other techniques that I, I played uh, and performed this is just gonna be the first step of a long way uh, that will take us through all the techniques and all that we we're gonna need to play um, fast with control and power without getting tired <laughs>